Today is a Dollar Tree a shop with me, which means I go to several stores, walk up and down the aisles to find all of the newest things to show you so that you know what to look for when you're shopping at Dollar Tree. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet in true Purple Alphabet style. We're heading over to Dollar Tree, going to multiple stores, and I'm gonna show you the best of the new things that are in stores right now. You know me, I like to focus on the things for kids, things for learning, and some crafting things as well. So I'm gonna hit all of those aisles and show you what's in stock. If you didn't see my Dollar Tree tips video, the Dollar Tree secrets that I use every time I shop, you do need to go watch that video. I'm gonna put them down below so you can watch it after you watch this one. So let's head over to Dollar Tree and check out what they have. This shop with me is a compilation of multiple stores because I wanted to find everything new that I could to show you. Starting off with the summer things, we have a lot of sandals coming in stock. They have sandals for the little ones, the toddler size, for women and for men in all different sizes. I really do like the styles this year. I think they went above and beyond on all the different colors and styles. We usually get these every year because my kids' feet grow and they're perfect for the beach or for doing showers in summer camps. Or if you just need a really quick slip on love these we'll always get them every year also in the summer toys I did see that they have the bubble blowers back these are a really good find and all of the beach toys lots of beach balls but more importantly the little inner tubes really important on these inner tubes is to look at the different sizes it will tell you on the package how big it is because some of these are meant for smaller kids and some of them are meant for older kids or adults so just be aware and look to see what size you're getting but they did have a lot of cute finds here you guys have told me the goggles are a no-go and not to get them so I've never tried them but I have tried a lot of other summer toys and had great success with them looks like the bubble blowers are back from last year in a couple of different designs these are always a hit and a lot of fun they just have a little trigger on them and you push the trigger for the bubbles to come out and there's a fan inside that blows them I think they work really well also these little sand toys are excellent this is a really good value I especially like the size of these if you're going on vacation or something it's something that you can pack really small and easily they have the larger ones that come with the sand molds you can also use these as buckets too I think these are a great find and they also have the little shovels inside so you can do a couple of different sand activities and of course you can get the larger buckets as well and those come with a little shovel on the side These are things we see every year at Dollar Tree for the summertime, and usually they are really good. Haven't seen this one in a few years, but it's back. It's the giant bubble blower. I've tried it and didn't have much success with it, but some of you guys told me you did, so I don't know. Is this a win or a fail? You gotta tell me. And I really like this. It's a child size broom and dustpan. This is perfect. It's a very Montessori inspired type activity to have your kids learn how to sweep things up. This is also a repeat from last year. This was in a Dollar Tree toy toy that I did and I really liked it. The top of the pencil is actually a chalk eraser and the body of the pencil holds the chalk. Brand new find alert are these glow balls. They're glow beach balls so the glow stick goes inside. These are great for summertime activities to play at night especially around 4th of July you know when you're all outside and having barbecues where you put the glow sticks inside and you have a little glowing octopus. They have the glowing flying discs or frisbees which I think we've seen before in the past but there are a lot of fun. Now gardening stuff you guys. I normally don't talk about the gardening stuff but I did have to show you because I did see quite a few you interesting finds lots of gardening tools which I don't think we've always seen before in the past this many of them this garden tool hanger I think is a new item this year which is great to hang up all of those tools and get organized they also had some of these domes where you can put items inside and grow them like a terrarium jumbo garden bags I have a feeling these have been around but they had them way in stock this time and then some garden edger they just are blowing up over here in the garden department so if that's your thing you might want to come over here and check it out also found some high energy bird feeds if you like to feed the birds they have that they have citronella incense sticks which seem to sell out pretty quick which makes me think that these actually work really well to kind of fend off the bugs they had a soaker hose which I'm not too sure on the quality on this but it's great for watering because it has the little holes all through the hose these wind twisters were so pretty and I've only seen them in one store and it was actually a smaller store they had a couple different styles of them I actually took one home just to try it out I thought it might be fun to see if it actually works because 
because we do get lots of wind in our area. And then they did have a lot of decorations for outdoors too, which I don't think they usually have this much. They did have quite a few options and all kinds of different styles too, and some of them are really cute. And gnomes, lots and lots of gnomes in different colors. Here's a quick view of some more of the outdoor decorations. Can you see they have just so much this year? Okay, crafting stuff, you guys. Holy moly on the vinyl. Lots of vinyl at this store and look at this i found the rainbow vinyl i couldn't believe it it was like a miracle i've been searching for that rainbow vinyl forever they also had the faux leather in stock at this store there's four different colors of the faux leather like a black a navy a brown and a white and then all the other colors like all the other colors so if you've been looking for the dollar tree vinyl and you wanted to try it out definitely check your stores now they also had quite the selection of stickers and really really nice stickers like the ones that you'd use for card making and the ones that you would use on planners lots of three-dimensional sticker packs lots of alphabet sticker packs too and many different styles i used to use these all the time for learning activities and it's kind of fun that they have them these are also perfect if you're still doing the you know paper scrapbooks or just to have for general crafts I really adored these three dimensional ones here, like the shells and the dragonflies and the flowers. They just looked so nice. Like you would buy them at Hobby Lobby or over at Michael's for several dollars. I mean, you could find these for at least four or $5 at the bigger store. So quite the selection. I just had to make sure I did a scan and showed you as much as I could of these. They also had a whole bunch of new washi tape colors too. They have the multi-pack rolls here that come five to a package, but then they also had the single rolls too and so many different styles the washi tape seems to go pretty fast so if you stumble across some of them you, you have lucked out so you might want to take a look and grab some of those if you like the washi tape really cool chalk labels too in different shapes and sizes if you like labeling with the chalk labels they add quite the section of that and then they also have this like blank like really long roll of chalkboard where you can cut it to any size you want i imagine you could use it in the cricket too fabric tons of selection on the fabric and once again this is not something i've normally seen usually I'll see just one of the bins so I think they're upping their game on this and providing a whole bunch of different styles I use these for some paper dolls that I made and they turned out really well another really cool item I like this one because it comes with the tray and then all the little laser cutouts inside people use these for crafts but if you know me I use these in my tinker boxes and they work really well and then let's head on over to all of the toys really there's a big selection of Easter basket stuffers right now while I'm filming this so you might find that lots of the same same things in the Easter section, but I did find some of these for the Easter baskets that I thought were really cute. You just adhere them to your basket to make them an animal. And I hadn't seen these before in stores. So I think they're just starting to pop in, which is great for all of those last minute people who are just now starting their shopping. These were also kind of a new find for me, these little containers, and they look so pretty with all the flowers. It would be a really great Mother's Day item too. And then they hold a whole bunch of these little boxes that were decorated in flowers once again pick these up for a really cute way to package a Mother's Day gift. I thought they were adorable and you could reuse them for sure. Really quick in the basket stuffers, I found these pens, which I thought were a lot of fun. They're mini gel pens. I almost wanted to take it home with me, but you know what? We have pens like you wouldn't believe around the house, so I had to pass, but they looked really good. The sidewalk chalk is always a staple for those baskets and then just for summertime and springtime in general. So always pick those up. They had some of the pinball machines that were also a repeat from last year, but they had a couple different styles that I hadn't seen before. Another great Easter basket stuffer. And then let's talk about the regular toys. So I did a quick scan down the aisle looking for some of the new things, what can be new in the toy section. Found this box. It is a display box for collectibles, but you could use this for all kinds of organizing needs. Like the shape of it, it's kind of a square shape and it's really deep. This was cool. Crayola Silly Scented Sand. Whoa, who's tried this? Tell me down below. Does it smell good? Is it too strong? Is it good sand? I have got to know. Please do tell me. Look, it comes in all these different colors. They also had some regular Play-Doh that comes two colors to a package. That was kind of fun. It's like a double the color for the package. And then they had the Crayola dough, which I think is new in all the rainbow colors. So if you've tried this, I do need to know how this dough is and if it's good. It's still a little bit more expensive than you can find a tub of dough this size at other stores, but you know, it's Crayola. The bendy tubes, but this time glow in the dark and they are larger than the tube 
two pack that Dollar Tree normally sells. So this was kind of a cool find. They had so many colors in this and I bet they really do glow really well, which would be really fun for some sensory activities, but they're just $1.25 each, which is actually kind of good compared to what you would find on Amazon. We have a fidget chain here, but I feel like I've showed this to you before at Dollar Tree, but this was, was definitely new. It's the dice, but they're completely white. A lot of people have been using these for crafts, so here you go. They're already painted for you and you can decorate them how you wish. And of course they had the regular dice too. I thought that was kind of a cool find for all those crafty people out there. Speaking of crafts, DIY squishies. Does this work? The squishies themselves were really good when I squished them in the package. I know those little markers probably aren't the best, but I'm gonna pick some of these up and put them in my Dollar Tree haul video that's coming soon. Now tell me, have these dough bags been around forever and I just ignored them and didn't realize it? These are the larger size dough. They come in several different colors and inside there are two cookie cutters. Each cookie cutter set is different in each color of dough. These I think I've showed you before too, but just in case I wanna make sure I mentioned it, these are the Dino World Clay. So not Play-Doh, but they're more clay where they dry. They come in the dinosaur package and they give you the eyes to go with it, but they also come in a dog style too. And if you've seen any other styles out there of this little kit, please let me know, I'm very curious. This I'm pretty sure is new. It's Turbo Wheels, the generic Dollar Tree band brand and they have three different setups and three different packages that I think they come with the car and then you can set them all up together in a row and have your own little town so here's what it would look like if you put them all together I thought that was pretty cute if you've tried it let me know and I thought that might be a really fun kind of gift if you wanted to give that to someone very cute now I've showed you this before this is the little style and design head like you would you know the bigger ones where you style their hair and brush their hair but they also have a new one now that is in a unicorn form so that was kind of cool just a different style you're supposed to style the unicorn's hair the same way you would the other head too not convinced on the quality of these but I just wanted to mention they had them they also had some of these little home economic tools like a little iron a dust buster and they make sounds and light up these are definitely a new find for me and then they had tons 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 of Barbie things, Barbie accessories, little packs. They even had the little figures that were all sports themes too, that they kind of look like collectibles. They had these little sets that look like armoires where you would put the items on the shelf to make your own little closet with them. So it was kind of fun to see all of these here if you are into all of the Barbie brand things. Also thinking ahead for stocking stuffers, if you want to stock up now and save these for later, that would be really great. Here's a couple of the new dolls that they have with some really cute ponytails on the top of their head and then they have these doll sets that come with the doll and a couple of accessories to go with them so if you got a couple of these collections you could have a whole little house set up if you wanted to each set was just a little bit different than the other one and if you like figurines they are fully stocked on so many different types of figurines and all kinds of different action figures in all kinds of different movies Disney movies Pixar they had the licensed characters for TV shows and they are really really well stocked so you could probably find the whole cast of characters if you looked closely or maybe checked a couple different stores I do know a lot of people like to put these inside sensory bottles to glue them onto the lid so there's a little character inside which is another option these are great to play in sensory bins too especially if your child really likes one of those characters I showed this over on Instagram it is maze mania it comes with a maze on the outside and several different licensed character styles but on the inside is a book full of mazes are perfect for working on that pen control in the book section we have a whole bunch of Bible seeking finds I thought these were pretty cool if my kids were young enough I would definitely get these for them they have the picture on one side and then you have to find it inside the picture on the other side plus there's a little blurb with the Bible story so they have some context of what they're doing lots of paint with water books too I used to love doing paint with water books with my kids and they're a really fun summertime activity and lots of different licensed characters in these. 
fun sticker books. I'm always a huge fan of these. Although my kids are too big for them, I just love sharing them with you because they are a great resource, especially if you're doing a little bit of learning at home. This one is opposites. They also had color by number, which is a great way to learn your colors and do some number recognition too. Really think these are great resources to have or to take with you to a restaurant or when you need a little bit of extra activities around the house. This was a really cool find. It is supposed to be a case to hold your doll in the clothes, like your Barbie doll sized fashion doll, but you could also use it for organization too because there's no other markings on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. We have some jump ropes, which are a really great find, especially for Easter baskets and for summertime outdoor play. Giant multicolored crayon. This is a new find. I don't know, maybe it all comes out in different colors and actually works. Tell me if you've tried it. Metallic markers, love these. These are bullet tipped and they come in four different colors to the package. I almost took them home, but I do have enough of these at home, but they looked really, really cool. Never seen this before. They are two designs of dry erase boards so you can hang these up on a wall and have your own to-do list. There's also a little calendar in there too. And I actually found a whole bunch of planner supplies. I'm not sure if this is a name brand that you would probably see in big box stores, but they had a whole bunch of different planning supplies. So if you're into, you know, doing those planners, those journals, that sort of thing, they have a whole bunch of, I guess, ones that have been in bigger stores and just didn't sell through. And I found them all in the office section. And then also in another store, I happened to run into Dollar Tree's version of planner. So they had a couple different planners. They had all different styles of covers, and then they sold the inserts separately. So you could buy the main book and then you can buy, I guess these right here are like the discs that go on the outside for the binding. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but here are the inserts and they had calendars, they had to do pages, they had list pages. And so you could customize your own planner depending on what you want. And they are all punched to fit the main planner book. In addition to that, they also had dividers in different styles. So you could pick a set that fit your personality. They had really cute sayings on them. They also had sticker sheets to go inside and stencils. Found some really cute stacked pencils. I feel like I just haven't seen these before, but my kids love these and they also make great party favors. They are in so many different character styles. And then I found some Lisa Frank stickers. These came home with me because I couldn't pass it up. My inner 10 year old came out and I just adore these and I know my girls will adore them too. Stickers for teachers. This is a really great selection. So teachers like to use these as motivation to put on worksheets or on graded papers. It's also a really good thing to give a teacher just randomly as a random act of kindness. These poster letters I feel like are in new styles too. Also fun to keep on hand in case you have those school projects like science fair where you need to make posters for the kids. This is a premium portfolio which I haven't seen before. So it's like a hard cover on the outside and on the inside you have your pad of paper. It's not exactly like the best of best of quality but it's actually pretty nice for $1.25. Let's take a look at all of the spring flowers shall we look at the selection it is so amazing some of these actually look real I don't normally buy this stuff but I was kind of amazed so I had to catch a clip to show you also some really fun wreath forms in this store and different shapes I don't make wreaths but I know some of you do so they have quite the selection and check out all of this home decor stuff this is looking really really nice I like this because it has a little hook on the bottom which is great to hang some keys or some random things at your front door but look at these decorative hooks these look amazing i love them all and then a whole bunch of fun little decorations and sayings. Plus these mirrors are looking pretty nice, you guys. I am really impressed. This stuff is not gonna stay in stores for very long. Another favorite is this drawers. They are sold separately, but they're stackable. There's three different sizes in them. Perfect for learning activities, if you know what I mean. So if you want some really nice wooden trays, this would be great for some kid activities. And then real quick, they have this brand at Target and I found it at Dollar Tree. Of course, the two things that they had it in, I don't normally use, but you might. So here you go. Take a peek. There are a whole bunch of Dollar Tree secrets that I use every time I shop at Dollar Tree and I made a video series about it. I'm gonna put them up here on screen so you can watch both of those directly after this video. I'll see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.